You may have this sitting in your home. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush. And you've been seeing a lot of these videos and that's because you guys are sharing like crazy. There are so many big money plush out there. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best plush Bolo and you guys, delivered. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So this is a great way to learn about items to pick up that you can sell for a profit or what I like to call big money. And a lot of times you can source uh, plush or stuffed animals cheap. You may have this sitting in your home. I mean, seriously, let me know if you've ever sold one of these items or if you ever owned one of these items. Let's get started with the first one. Again, these come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It looks like this. We are pushing 100,000 members. And I know we're like at 91 something, but 10,000 comes fast in this group. It is crazy. So if you're not over there, come join the group that is a major milestone. Now, if only every single person that was in the Facebook group would follow my YouTube channel, like, oh, but anyway, let's get started here with the first one. Bought at an estate sale for $1, sold in a week of listing for $110, does not have accessories, shirt, helmet, or chains. Great sale. Bolo Buddy member, um, Halen Vintage on YouTube, eBay, and Instagram. And this is what her uh, channel looks like. And what does it mean to be a Bolo Buddies member? That means she has joined my YouTube channel at level two or higher to be mentioned in the video with a pop-up of her YouTube channel and a link down in the description. So definitely check out the description. If you hear me mention anyone, they are resellers and they've got, they've got info to share. So definitely check them out. So Bolo Finder, she found a vintage 1986 My Football Monster Amtoy Big Plush, no accessories, $110. And she paid a buck for it at an estate sale. Bam. All right. This next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. Awesome, awesome eBay store name. Check her out. I'll link her down below. So you can follow her eBay store by clicking on the heart. She said, not my best plush, but one worth mentioning. I found this in the bottom of a large plush bin at the Goodwill. It wasn't even priced. So the cashier said $1.19. In my travels, I had always wanted to find a vintage stife, but never did. But watching your videos made me at least familiar with what to look for. Mohair and stiff straw body. This rabbit met the criteria, but had no tush tags or stife button in the ear. Google Lens compared it to Lulac Stife Bunny, but I still couldn't be sure. I reached out to Facebook group of stife collectors. They told me it was most likely stife. I let, I'm sorry, I listed it and fairly disclosed. I wasn't sure if it was stife and there was no tush tag or button in the ear. Happy to say it was purchased for asking price of $99. If I could have confirmed it was Stife, I most likely would have got a lot more. It was in great condition, so I think it was a win-win for both the buyer and myself. Thank you, Courtney, for the education, and I'll keep searching. So, um, mohair, in general, can do good. And bunnies, people love bunnies. So, if you can find a mohair bunny, it's probably going to do pretty well, even if it's not Stife. So, just FYI there. All right, let's see what the next one is here. I'm pretty new to reselling. Found this Tickle Me Elmo in the original box for $3 at a thrift store and flipped it for $30. It's a vintage 1996 Tyco Sesame Street, the original Tickle Me Elmo. And this is what it looks like. So, um, you know, I haven't heard anything about Tickle Me Elmo. Is it a bolo? Do some of them go for more money than others? New in the box, you would think... I would have thought that it would have went for more than 30, but I don't know if there's different like reproductions or if this is, it says vintage 1996. I probably would have priced it higher, but I haven't searched comp. So I'm wondering, she said she's a new reseller. So I'm wondering if she searched comps on that or if it sold really quick. Like I want all the details. All right, if you're watching, let us know. Did it sell quick? Did you check comps? Is that kind of the going rate? Because new old stock like that, wow, that's incredible. Got it at a yard sale, paid $2, and sold it for $99.99. .99. It's a Build-A-Bear Pokemon 
Vaporeon, Vaporeon, huh? Uh, stuffed plush. There it is. That's what it looks like. Those Pokemon names, I'm telling you, they're hard to pronounce. You guys get me with those all the time. Don't know if this counts because it's a plush hand puppet. Absolutely. Plush is plush. Um, got it at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for $29.99. It is a folktales mosquito hand puppet, 18 inch long plush. Huh? There you have it. Uh, another really cool item. All right, let's see. And I have a video on puppets. If you guys haven't seen it, woo, some of them go for big bucks. I mean, thousands. Go check out that video. Bought on day three of a church sale for 50 cents. Recognized the brand Mary Meyer from the Rebel Reseller. Sold in about a month for a best offer of 40 plus shipping. Mary Meyer Green Purple Velour Puppy Dog Plush Wig Wags Dog Stuffed Animal 1997. This is what it looks like. Yes, if you guys are not following the Rebel Reseller, she is incredible. Her and her husband are awesome. They are super knowledgeable. They sell tons and tons of plush. And you will learn so much. And their videos are great. So go check them out on YouTube if you have not already. I will link them down below. All right, the next one. Goodwill paid $5.99. It is a jumbo plush, she said. Took an offer of $125. It's an Animal Alley Darby Dog Floppy Jumbo Stuffed Animal Plush, 45 inches from Toys R Us. Yes, those jumbo plush can be big money, but they're sometimes a pain to ship. Um, but yeah, look them up. If you see a big plush, look it up. Eden Snowman Plush, based on story by Raymond Briggs, paid $1.99 and took a best offer of $65. And this is what it looks like. Animal Fair Henrietta Dog Plush, paid $2.99 at the Goodwill and sold it for $129.99. It's a vintage 1985 Animal Fair Henrietta stuffed plush dog with original tag 19 inches. Wow, that is awesome. All right, this next one comes from It's All Goods 94, and she sold this plush. She's also a Bolo Buddies member. She is also over on Whatnot. Uh, that is her eBay store name, and it is also her Whatnot name. So go check her out over on Whatnot. And if you're not on Whatnot, there's a, a referral link down below. If you click on that, you're going to get $15 to chop. $15 to chop, $15 to shop uh, when you use that link to join. I'm over there. You probably know that if you've been watching me a while. I've been talking about it a lot. I'm loving it. You guys come follow me on whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies, lowercase, all one word. Um, so it's all goods 94 and Bolo Buddies. Come find us on whatnot. Even if you don't buy anything, come hang out with me in the chat. It's super fun. So she found this at the Goodwill for 99 cents and sold for full asking price of $19.99. Had a lot of watchers. She said mine was in poor condition and it still sold. It is a Wuzzles Bumble Lion Vintage Softies Plush 1985. And it sold for $19.99, right? 99 cents into $19.99. But the key here, the key point is that it was not in good condition and it still sold. This is my best plush sale to date. Paid $1.99 and sold it for $125. It's really small. Let me zoom in here. Jelly Cat London Sacha Snow Tiger Stuffed White Gray Plush. And this is what it looks like. It's a really small photo. It might be a little pixelated or blurry. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. This is good old Jersey Shore Picker. So we got a story. We always have a story with Jerry. Saw a Facebook ad for a pop-up moving sale at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Dropped everything and rushed over to it. I spent 100 and got 51 plushies, mostly video game characters. Two video game consoles and 10 video games. The plush portion of that 100 was $40, so less than a dollar each. Here is the highest dollar plush sale so far and a few more screenshots in the comments. Note that the majority of these sales are on Mercari. I have made over 600 on the purchase so far. Totals include video games and accessories. All right, so Jerry makes a good point here. He probably has these items cross-posted and they sold faster on Mercari. Mercari is fantastic for plush. I have told you guys that before. 
Um, many of you, I think, are starting to believe me. I've had people message me saying, thank you for telling me I'm selling plush over there. Um, I do have a link down below. If you use that link to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff, which is pretty easy to do if you list a bunch of stuff, you're going to get another $20 to shop. So that's $30 total if you use my link down below. And it is a referral link, so I do get money to shop also. So always appreciate it when you guys use those links. There's a bunch of links. If you have your items on eBay or Poshmark and you want to cross post them, you can use you can use List Perfectly. That's what I use. Um, there's other cross posting services. I use List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. I'm not going anywhere. I love it. Uh, I do have a video. It's down in the description and it will show you how I cross post. It will show you number one, how to cross post from eBay directly to Poshmark and Mercari. It will also show you how to list into the catalog if you prefer to do that. Uh, there's lots of options with List Perfectly and you just do what works best for you. But check out that video. See if it's something that you think will benefit you in your business. I always say like, for me, I want to see how it's done before I invest my money in it. You know, I want to know, is this going to help me? Is this worth it? Because if I'm paying for it, it's I want it to work. So it definitely works for me. I love it. But if you use my referral code, Bolo Buddies, all one word, you will get 30% off your first month of list perfectly. So check out the video. If it's a good fit, it's a good fit. If not, no worries, but get that 30% off if um, it is a good fit, okay? All right, here we go. It is Sonic Boom Shadow Plush Toomey 9-inch Black Hedgehog Stuffed Toy. Rare, hard to find. Sold on Mercari for $49.99. So he is a, did he say video game character? And then he sold a, another one. It looks like Sonic... Maybe, is it Sonic the Hedgehog? You can't see it because of the, the sold thing. And then Five Nights at Freddy's sold for 15. So here's two more from that batch that sold. And then Super Mario Brothers sold for 16. And an, it looks like a Super Mario Brothers puppet that sold for 19. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if he does free shipping or if he charges shipping. He didn't say. Did he say? Did he say up there? I don't think he said. And then the last one are some more Mario Brothers figures, $24, and some more Five Nights at Freddy's right there for $20. So all of those sales were on Mercari. So that's great. I got the Jelly Cat Polar Bear at a thrift store for $2, sold in about two weeks for $124.95. I got the Thai St. Bernard at a yard sale for $0.75, cents, sold in a couple of days for best offer of $40. This is Canadian dollars, and this is what it looks like. So I don't know what the conversion is for that, but uh, yeah, really cute. So it looks like in Canada, also Jelly Cat is a bolo, but check that out, a tie. It's a tie. And it's a pastel St. Bernard. So cute. Check all Five Nights at Freddy's plush. Many of them are worth money. One of these is a jumbo plush. I paid a dollar. That that makes the I'm sorry. The other makes noise was free. Both sold great. I've been I've sold at least 14 others ranging from $20 to $80. All right, this comes from Stellar Seller Sam. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Definitely check her out. She has awesome YouTube content. But the first one, it looks like she sold it for $56.98. And the second one sold for $58.72. Bought at a schoolyard sale for $0.75. Cents, sold for $70. Best offer in three hours. I'm like, three <laughs> uh, rare retired jelly cat toothy grin bat soft toy. Look at those teeth. Eee, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. That is adorable. I've had this since 2002. Found it at the Goodwill as a kid. Passed it on to my kids and now it lives on as a bolo. Commonwealth unicorn blue white horse with collar stuffed plush. Uh, $49.88 on that one. That's awesome. Somebody put, oh my goodness, I think I have this one in my basement currently. And then 
Then she wrote, I guess mine is $19.99 and has a sparkle collar thing. Hopefully I can sell it for the same price. Oh, it's actually older, so might be worth more. Never know. Somebody might be looking for the sparkly collar. Bought for $4, sold for $72, took a little over a month to sell. It is a Build-A-Bear African painted wild dog St. Louis Zoo. If you don't know, St. Louis Zoo Build-A-Bear are big money. Go check out this video. It is a Build-A-Bear video, but what you're going to find is a lot of these items sold for more on Mercari. So not only does plush sell good on Mercari, a lot of times it sells for more. And these Build-A-Bear you might be surprised at what some of them sold for. All right, so we are going to stop here and I'm going to have more plush bolo videos coming for you because I had a whole bunch of shares. I appreciate everybody that's shared. If you're new here and you want to share a bolo, go over to the Facebook group, look for the plush share post that looks like this and share a bolo and I will feature it in a video. I also have up a monthly bolo post, which by the time you see this, it'll probably be share your best August. Uh, bolo and you just share anything. It doesn't have to be plush, just something cool that you sold for big money. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. In this video, I am wearing a purple necklace. I am going to be bringing this to my whatnot and selling it. So be on the lookout for that show. I don't know when it'll be. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be selling the necklaces that I'm wearing because I'm just grabbing things that match my hats out of my pile of stuff that I'm going to sell on whatnot. So, hey, I figure I'll wear it and then I'll sell it. Smart? Yeah. All right, you guys, come follow me on whatnot, Bolo Buddies. If you're not already on whatnot, get that $15 to shop. That's free money. You can buy something and resell it, make some money. I mean, why not, right? Um, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it to the end of the video, put a hat emoji in the comments. Thanks for watching.